Welcome to the Active Trader Setups Tutoring Reference Series where we'll be reviewing uh, charts and exactly tutoring you on how to set those charts up from scratch, what the indicators are on each chart template that's shown over on our Trader Member site under Products. So you go to TraderMembers.com, click on the Products tab, and we have the page set up for our members as well as it's open to the public if you want to learn more about our charts. We have each chart outlined, each template. We have a different section for the futures charts. And we're taking each chart one at a time and showing all the indicators that are on the chart, telling a little bit about what they tell you, showing you where the scanners are located to scan for the inflection points that are shown on these charts as well as at the very end of each of these reference tutoring videos, we will have a step-by-step -step instruction of how to create this chart from scratch with a new chart starting with the data series and then loading the template. That'll be in about the last five minutes of each of these videos that'll be shown right above the chart template on the page. And this will be the name of the video on the YouTube site that's shown right below the the uh, chart template on the page. So it's products page at tradermembers.com. That's open to the public as well. So you want to remember this if you're having to reconstruct a chart or you want to place a chart into a workspace you already have open. You don't have that chart there and you need to build it because you want to start using it in your workspace that you've already got created. You'll go over, find this video, just fast forward over the last five minutes, and it'll show you how to create the, each chart from scratch. And be sure to watch on our YouTube channel. We got the Active Trader Setups Trading Setup Series. It's coming out three and four times a week where we're reviewing actual charts from from the day that's using the chart and the indicator setups that are on that chart to actual use practical application of the indicators on the charts, how you're going to read them and how you're going to react and trade to them. That's an ongoing series uh, for our clients to learn from as well as our guests to learn more about our trading package. So make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and be watching for that series uh, multiple times a week. This video is brought to you by Active Trader Setups Trading Package, a day trader setups company. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel while you're here and go over to daytradersetups.com. You can find out more about our package under our features area, our registration area, as well as our education and training. We have a YouTube channel page that has links to various videos as well. And then you can go over to our members site. It's called tradermembers.com. Go to the products page, and we have a full listing of reference materials for our traders to to uh, access, but th this page is open to the public. It goes over each of the uh, charts and what they have on them, the indicators, the indications, how to scan for those, and so forth. This video is chart template name 60M ATS Inflection W. That stands for 60 minute chart with our ATS inflection plotted off a weekly data series. You'll find a screenshot of this chart on our tradermembers.com website under products, stock charts. And you can see that we use the color coding on the lines. This is a week back. This is two weeks back. This is three weeks back. And then it goes further back with the orange lines. Not sure how useful this chart might be, but when you're looking for something that's selling off and you're trying to find what might be an area that it can hold on, over about three weeks back, uh, I don't know if I want to be 
trying to bounce a stock that's making, starting to take out these orange lines. This one here at the open, though, you can see this is multiple days ago. Each one of these little dots or dashed lines is a daybreak on a 60-minute chart. This was a day that the stock gapped down, went down and uh, probably very rapidly, and it did hold this line, so that gave you a spot. And sometimes you can look at uh, pre-market charts. You'll see the values in the watch list, and you start poking around looking at those charts, you may find that they're near some of these values in their pre-market lows, so that may give you an edge on uh, taking a trade early on a stock that's gapping down for whatever reason it might be. Sometimes it's just a general market that's pulling them down. You can see the first mouse ran up pretty close to uh, that weekly. That, but see, this is at this time. This was this is a days now, so this plot uh, may or may not have been there. It depends on exactly when the screenshot was made, what day of the week. The possibility, if this was on a Friday when the screenshot was taken, that this line had just plotted for this last week's activities. If this is on a Monday, this was already here. Now, the orange line was 100% already there. It's, it's the other, the lines, anything other than this line, is always was already there. So this is shown with the uh, weekly ATS inflection. Shows the 60-minute coming out of the data series in your tab name. And the chart uh, has two data series, 60-minute chart and the weekly data series shown in this left-hand upper corner here. The name of the template, 60 ATS Inflection W, template name, that's the name of our video. Candlesticks, yes, you can change. Uh, recommended 15 minute through daily settings. Do not modify the weekly, so you can change the candle size to 15 minute, 10 minute, even 5 minute if you wanted to. Uh, I wouldn't see the point of having a 5 minute on a weekly inflection point. But if you wanted to go back to 15 minute or 30 minute charts or even go forward into the daily, uh, that would be okay. You won't get a lot of history once you get to the daily on these bars going back. Don't modify the weekly. The only other thing on here, we got the ATS inflection weekly input we've already been talking about. And then at the bottom, we have our volume and our uh, visual plot on the uh, alert for the higher five minute or five bar and 10 bar high volumes and, and high down volumes. So this one's pretty simple. It's the same inflections you've been seeing, the same color formations on the lines. It is set to 60 minutes. It is uh, plotted off a of weekly. You've got your standard up-down volume candles on the bottom with your alert on the High bars on the volume, uh, pretty much what we've been seeing on a lot of other charts. You can change this if you wanted to, as I just told you. You can go to 15 minute. And if you squish this up, you see some more lines, of course. 15 minute pushed them out of your way. And remember to fix your chart, you just press the F. And you see that 9640 there on this 15 minute. This was on a, a Friday. So that's an example of what I was just showing you. The line may or may not be there. I'm making this video on a weekend. So this particular line was created during the past week. And that's our, going to be our white dotted line going forward. These other lines was already there. This line, if you'll watch, if I move this slightly, this was the big line for the week prior. Just that last tick at the end of the day went ahead and plotted this line up here for the week that's about to begin. So that's what I was talking about. You're not, depending on the day of the week, if this had been on a Thursday, then this line would have been this. You can see if I go back one day, that line's been there the whole week and it'll stay there until you change weeks and then it'll move. To a different spot 
So that's how those work. There's not, not a whole lot. There's no uh, scanners for this. It's just a reference to the weekly inflection point, and that's why we have it set to a bigger time frame on the 60 minutes. Now we just need to show you how to create this. It's pretty simple. First, we're going to look at our data series. We got a 60 minute set to 45 days, regular trading hours. Do not plot at the bottom. Then we have a weekly chart. One week, the days default to 1825. Set it to regular trading hours. Break it into day. And remember to set your chart style to the STS. This, we always do this for the ones we don't want to see the bar actually on the chart. And do not plot at the bottom. So that's how we're going to set this up. So we're going to go to new in our control panel chart. We're going to select a symbol. I'm going to take the same one we had. First thing we're going to set is the minutes. We want it on 60 minutes. We want our days, 45 days. Instrument settings, again, all the way to the bottom of the list. You will find U.S. equities regular trading hours. Break it into day. Set your lower indicator. We're going to add it again. As always, make sure you have the same symbol selected. This time we want to go weekly. It defaults to 1,825 days. Again, we want regular trading hours, as we always do in our stocks. And you got to come down. No auto scale here. Panel 1, so it'll be with the uh, other plot on panel 1. And then at the bottom, change do not plot on your plot executions. Now we got a brand new chart just opened up with our 60 minute bars. And looks like for some reason we got a weekly bar here. So let's see what happened. I think I forgot to select. I did. I forgot to select the STS all go. And that will make that big bar go away. And that's why you don't want to see it. It don't need to be seen. It's only used for plotting our inflection points. Now we've got the data series we need to have. Now I'm going to have not shown this lately. I'm going to go back and change something just so uh, for those of you who had not watched every video, you can pick this up. I'm going to take this data series and I'm going to remove it. I'll show you what happens. Now we only have the one data series of 60 minutes. And when we go to load our template, get this up a little higher so you can see. When we go to load our template and we go to 60 minute ATS inflection weekly, it will not allow you to load. It says the template you're trying to load has two data series saved, but you only have one data series configured on your current chart. Please reconfigure your chart to have two data series before loading the template. That's what happens anytime you try to load one and you don't have the necessary data series already preloaded. And that's exactly why we put this at the end of each video. So I'm going to go back and add the weekly. I hadn't covered that lately, so I thought it was a good time to do that. Going back to the weekly one week out of our days, back to our regular trading hours. I'm going to remember my candlestick this time. No auto scale. Do not plot apply. Now we, I forgot to change the panel. So we see what happens on the panel when you get this big item down here, what you've done wrong in the data series. I'll let it do a new panel instead of changing that panel on the weekly to one. It made a new panel so it created two. So you got to change that back to panel one. Now you have only the one panel that we want. We got our two data series, and now we're ready to load our template. 60 ATS inflection W. And here's our chart that looks just like the one we've been working with. 
And that's all you got to do to create one. Thanks for watching our videos. This video is brought to you by Active Trader Setup's Tutoring Reference Series, where we're dissecting the components of each chart and all the indicators that are shown on the charts and how to read them and what they're intended to inform you about. Be sure to watch the complete series on any other chart templates you need information on, as well as be sure to tune in to our trading and training series where we'll be looking at real-time setups on the charts as they progress through the day and you start to learn to recognize how you're applying all these indicators to your trading. We're taking the charts and the indicators and learning how they apply to real-time trading and reading the charts. That's the trading and training series. We're putting that out two to three times a week during the week. And then also on the weekends, we're going to have a weekend uh, chart talk video that goes into uh, many more charts that, that showed up throughout the week. And mainly concentrating on the cloud setups and the ATS inflection charts. Thanks again for watching our video. Learn more about our trading package at ActiveTraderSetups.com.